Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Prince Harry breaks his silence to pay tribute to Diana. Harry uses interview to vow to continue his mother's unfinished HIV work. Harry has told of how he feels a responsibility to continue his mom's unfinished work in raising awareness around HIV. He was on a video call with former rugby star and good friend Gareth Thomas as part of National HIV Testing Week. The pair spoke about how normalizing HIV testing could help achieve the goal of ending new HIV cases in the UK by 2030. Prince Harry, speaking from California, said, Every single one of us has a duty, or at least an opportunity, to, to get tested ourselves to make it easier for everybody else to get tested. And then it just becomes a regular thing like anything else. This testing week, especially in the UK or wherever you are in the world, go and get a test. Let people know that you know your status. Do it. National HIV Testing Week started on February 7th and promotes free home test kits which can be ordered in the UK. Tests can also be carried out at local sexual health or community clinics. When asked what made him so passionate about raising awareness of HIV, Harry said. I think once you get to meet people and you see the suffering around the world, you can't turn, oh, I certainly can't turn my back on that. Then add in the fact that my mum's work was unfinished. I feel obligated to try and continue that as much as possible. I could never, you know, fill her shoes, especially in, in this particular space, but because of what she did and what she stood for and how vocal she was about this issue. But, you know, it's, it is, it's, it's the converging of all these different pieces. There is a way out of it. If there's a way out of it and we know there's a solution, I'm like a typical guy. I just want to help fix things. <laughs> yeah. Former Wales fullback Gareth came out as the first openly gay rugby union player in 2009 and revealed he was HIV positive in 2019. He has since advocated strongly to break the stigma around the illness and has been awarded a CBE for his work, telling the video call. It wouldn't be scary if you understood what living with HIV in 2022 is. He told Harry about his daily routine. At 6 am, every single day, my alarm goes off. I take my HIV medication which is one tablet. And I feel that my day then begins. Gareth said it was daunting to walk into a sexual health clinic, but added it is so much easier to test now using a home kit or at drop-in clinics where there are people to talk to. The sooner you find out if you're negative or the sooner you find out if you're positive, then the sooner you can start treatment. You know, if you leave it too late, then it yeah. can have circumstances that are irreplaceable, irreparable. New figures this week also show the number of new HIV diagnoses among straight people is higher than in gay and bisexual men for the first time in a decade. Princess Diana, who died in a car crash in 1997, changed the global perception of HIV and AIDS by raising awareness of the condition. She sat by the sick bed of a man with AIDS and held his hand in the 1980s at a time when many thought the disease could be contracted through casual contact. Praising his mum, Prince Harry said, what my mum started all those years ago was creating empathy and understanding, but also curiosity. And I think that was yeah. really powerful to be able to create that curiosity of, hang on, we know nothing about this virus. Can we at least learn some more rather than be so critical and so judgmental right from the beginning? So in that respect, I've seen huge change. People are able and happy to talk about HIV so, so much more openly, but the stigma still exists and therefore the testing is still a problem. We can't just have this incremental increase in knowledge. I've seen huge change. People are able and happy to talk about HIV so, so much more openly, but the stigma still exists and therefore the testing is still a problem. The Duke of Sussex followed in his mum's footsteps and publicly took an HIV test alongside singer Rihanna in 2016, which contributed towards a 500% increase in the number of people requesting a test on the Terence Higgins Trust website. Quick disclaimer, everything in this video and all of my videos are my opinion based on detailed research that I perform. That said, I would recommend doing your own research before you make up your mind. Thank you. What did Princess Diana leave Prince Harry in her will? What did Princess Diana leave behind when she suddenly died? Did Prince Harry inherit the same amount of money as his brother? And were any of Diana's possessions left to Prince Harry in his mother's will? 
On August 31, 1997, people across the globe were shocked and devastated when it was reported that Princess Diana had died. Popularly known as the People's Princess, Diana left such a massive impact on the world because of her dedication to activism and her humanitarian efforts. She publicly advocated for a plethora of important causes. But aside from her commitment to helping the marginalized, Diana was also known for being a great mother to her two sons, Prince William and Prince Harry. According to People, the princess once said, I will fight for my children on any level so they can reach their potential as human beings and in their public duties. And true enough, she stood by her word. During his interview with Oprah Winfrey, Prince Harry revealed that it was his mother's financial support that allowed him to step down as a senior member of the royal family. Along with his wife, Meghan Markle, Harry moved to Los Angeles and stopped receiving financial support from the palace. The prince told Oprah, I've got what my mum left me, and yeah. without that we would not have been able to do this. This revelation got people wondering just how much did Princess Diana leave Prince Harry and Prince William in her will. As it turns out, she left each of them enough to live a comfortable life, even after her death. Princess Diana left part of her net worth to Prince Harry. Princess Diana's death was so unexpected that many were worried about what was going to happen to Prince Harry and Prince William. Reader's Digest noted that, at the time of her death, she had a net worth of roughly 21 million pounds, which equated to $31.5 million at the time. Of course, Princess Diana did not leave her two sons empty-handed. She had drafted up a will four years prior to her death, and her estate was distributed to different people, with a huge chunk going to Prince Harry and Prince William. According to CNN, her estate, which was $21.3 million after taxes, was distributed equally between her sons. Since they were teenagers at the time of her death, Diana's sons only began receiving their inheritances upon turning 25. Eventually, they received the full amount once they reached the age of 30. But also, but also the, the Netflix and the Spotify of it all, that was never part of the plan. According to The Telegraph, the inheritance was also invested following Diana's death, resulting in it gaining significant interest. By the time Prince Harry turned 30, he inherited around 10 million pounds, or 13 million dollars. And this money truly came in handy, as Harry revealed during his sit-down interview with Oprah Winfrey. I think she saw it coming. And I certainly felt her presence throughout this whole process. Princess Diana also left some of her personal belongings to Prince Harry. On top of granting her sons financial freedom, Princess Diana also left them some of her most prized possessions. Prince Harry and Prince William were given the chance to pick a trinket from their mother's collection. And surprisingly, Harry chose Diana's engagement ring, while William opted for her Cartier watch. If you are wondering why the ring ended up on Kate Middleton's finger and not Meghan Markle's, it's because Harry offered it up to Will when he found out that he was planning to propose. In the documentary The Diana Story, Diana's former butler, Paul Burrell shared the story of how Harry had given up the ring for his brother. Burrell revealed, Harry said to him, wouldn't it be fitting if she had mummy's ring? Then one day that ring will be sat on the throne of England. Harry gave up his precious treasure. His one thing he kept from his mother, he gave to his brother. That selfless, kind and exactly who Diana was. As Meghan was later spotted sporting the Cartier watch. It's highly possible that the two did a brotherly exchange of the precious items. Princess Diana also reportedly entrusted her iconic wedding dress to Prince Harry and Prince William. But what they've done with it remains to be seen. Perhaps one of her grandchildren will wear it on their special day someday in the future. Stop. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more LMT videos about the royal family are coming soon. Subscribe to LMT channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.